You uh, plan to graduate college at 16 years old, is that right? I plan to graduate actually at 14 years oh, old okay. and then get my PhD at 16. That's amazing. NYU is so lucky to have you. Saborna, thank you so much for joining us. By the time I was seven years old, I found myself lecturing around the world on the same topics that I just couldn't understand a few years earlier. That is amazing. A few years earlier. What are your goals with your studies? Yeah, so I've got a lot of goals as well, but mainly my first goal is to finish my BS in math with a minor in physics by 2026, get a PhD by 2028, and become the world's youngest professor at 17 or 18 in 2029. Was it a big decision to go to college now, and how is it going? Uh, it feels like just the next natural step. Most kids go to a college after high school, so I said, why not me? I Most kids aren't 12. I just got this ID, so, oh my god, it finally works. I've worked for this for so long. One of the questions I had was whether or not this kid's going to have a really swelled head. But you don't. You seem to have a pretty balanced point of view. I know it sounds strange because uh, it sounds like you're talking to some business CEO on 60 Minutes um, <laughs> that's like 35 years old, but instead I'm only 12. feels <laughs> like the voice isn't matching up with the person right in front of you. Do you sometimes wonder at the fact that you're only 12? Not really. I've seen my birth certificate. What are you going to major in at NYU? I'm actually double majoring in math and physics, and yeah. I'm hoping to mm. graduate in two or three years. His plan goes, you would be a professor at 14 years old. Yeah. I don't believe so, because I plan to graduate uh, with my bachelor's at 14, and you needed a PhD to true. become a professor. Okay. So That's hopefully true. I'll be a professor at 16 or 17. of people applied from all over the world to get into this program and only 13 percent of them got accepted into this class at the Quran Institute. I am now officially a student at NYU. I don't think my ID will work but let me check. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Okay, let's check if it works. Oh my gosh. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I'm 11 years old. You're 11 years old. Yeah. I know because you're on the age because of your ID. Congrats. Let me see, does this work? I think it does. Wow. It's unbelievable. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's honestly unbelievable. Yeah. I'm 11 and I got a scholarship here oh, at NYU. Really? Yeah. Congratulations to you. <laughs> oh my God. It finally works. I've worked for this for so long. How do I get back? Huh? Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Believe it or not, but now I'm actually an NYU student. No way. And not just anywhere at NYU, but the NYU Quran Institute, the number one institute in applied math. Number one in yeah. USA? No, uh, in the world. In the world. Oh, okay. Did you get any scholarship? Yeah, I got a full scholarship. Let's hand over the microphone to Siobhan now. So we can say, we can, we can, he can, he can sing the national anthem uh, to celebrate Indian Independence Day. Yeah, I hear you. A little bit. <laughs> I got you. Good thing none of you laughed or like told him or anything. <laughs>